Hello everyone, today is going to be an interesting video. We're going to be editing a video in Microsoft Windows Movie Maker using XP. So, I recorded this originally in 4K60, so I had a lot of headroom to zoom in or whatever, but it just can't play 4K60 video at MP4 uh, using an MP4. It can't even play it as an ASF, which is... As you can see, I have converted this to an ASF, which is a Windows Media Audio Video File. And I converted it down to 480p at 30fps uh, with this, and it doesn't look the same as you can see here. But I'm going to go with it. It's a Microsoft Press Computer Dictionary 3rd Edition. It's a cool, like, retro, I guess, uh, meant for, like, Windows 98, but this is the original video file. So, I'm going to just import it into Movie Maker anyway. So, I'll just drag and drop the video and the background music, which is, um... Michael Jackson's Billie Jean, but it's an instrumental, so I don't get copyright strike. And then I just throw that on there. Anyways, so if we just play it as it is. It's okay, but I'm going to mute the video, the audio from the video. So this is it, and I'm going to make it all the audio and music. So it's looking pretty good. Anyway, kind of cool. So I'm going to now record a narration to go along with it. There's just an option right here to uh, narrate the timeline. So I'm going to do that and see how it turns out. Okay, we're back. It's interesting because you can't do background music and the um, narration at the same time. But I'm going to play and see how good it is or bad. It was at this point where everything stopped working. I'm getting a not responding. Lovely. Guess we're just gonna terminate the program. And the audio's back, so I'm gonna listen to it now. Hello everyone, today we are talking about the Windows X. Okay, so this is actually really surprisingly good quality. I was expecting it to sound terrible. But put the video back on top make sure that the it's all audio slash music I really do wish you could have both background music but uh, like both background music and your narration but for some reason it doesn't let you do that and now nothing's playing again once I put this video file on it just kind of everything kind of just stops working we can read it you can't read this because this video is so low quality so what I'm gonna do is just slice this down I guess so okay there we go so split this delete this you know this isn't too bad of a video editor honestly it's not te great but it's not terrible so I guess that's pretty good Just put it right there delete this put the video right there and press play Hello everyone, today we are talking about the Windows XP Computer Dictionary, so we're going to flip to the operating system page and scan for the operating system and see uh, we can read it. And there we go. Terrible. Uh, I'm gonna put the and there we go at the very end. 
Because why not? And then I can I ex oh sweet I can extend this. No, can I not? Hmm. Lame. I guess I'll just do it again. Just cut it right there. Lovely. So it's not wanting to play, so I'm just gonna go straight to saving the movie file, um, which is exporting it, and just do it to my videos. And best quality for a playback on my computer, recommended. Whatever. It's going to export the movie. Oh, oh can't close that out. Alright, play movie when I click finish. Let's, let's watch it. Hello everyone, today we are talking about the Windows XP computer dictionary. So, we're going to flip to the operating system page and scan for the operating system and see uh, we can read it And there we go so that's the um, that's the completed project it's not the best video editing project I've ever made but that was trying to edit in Microsoft Windows XP with Movie Maker and that's it it doesn't always work very well so yeah thanks for watching <laughs>